In this video, we're gonna have a quick look unboxing for the TCL20XE powered by Next Vision. This is Variety Stick, and let's find out. Now this phone is affordable device, super budget phone, cost only 69 US dollars or you can get the phone for free if you go to Metro by T-Mobile and start a new number or bring your number from a different company or if you want to upgrade your phone and you qualified it would pay only $69 so the $69 price only available through Metro by T-Mobile and this is a Metro by T-Mobile unit now since we know this is a budget phone we're not going to expect high specifications but let me give you an idea about the specs starting with the display the phone has a v-notch display because the phone has a facial recognition through the front facing camera which is a great addition for a budget phone with 6.5 for the size of the screen lcd high definition plus with 720p for the resolution and the ratio 20 by 5 by 19 and the ppi 200 168 and as I said this is a low specification for a cell phone but on paper you're gonna have the phone in your hand and you're gonna see everything just fine and TCL is a TV company so they actually make very good display we're gonna find out more when you unbox the phone and have deep lock on the display now for the CPU chip we have MediaTek 6762 low-end chipset and this is understandable because the price of the phone with 32 gigabyte of internal storage you will have after the operating system and the apps that's already pre-installed in the phone 21 gigabytes to play with to download apps take pictures video and you have the option to add SD card up to 5 12 gigabytes which is a great addition with 3 gigabyte of ram you should be able to play video games just fine in my opinion if you don't go for ultra settings or a high-end games that require a lot of graphics now the operating system out of the box will be android 11 and this is the far you can go with this budget phone you guys are not gonna expect to receive another software update for android 12 so pay your attention about this point when you buy a budget phone also want to pay your attention this phone is LTE device doesn't support 5G connectivity moving to the camera we have a triple camera setup on the back of the phone 13 for the main sensor and 2 megapixel macro 2 megapixel depth sensor from the specs I don't think so the camera is promising but we're gonna take some pictures and have a look on the quality of these pictures to see how good it will and also we have a front facing camera with 5 megapixel and by the way the phone doesn't support video recording more than uh, 1080p with 30 fps now the main advantage of this phone in my opinion is the battery with size 5000 milliamp and charge from 0% to 100% within 2 hours and a half back to the fast charging 18 watt in my opinion the battery it seems to me very impressive for this device you guys gonna expect to have uh, if you're a heavy user to have 22 hours of using the phone between phone calls playing video games now if you split this on three days I mean you you use your phone around six to seven hours every day for three days for one single charge this is impressive in my opinion if we want to use the phone mixed with calls and play video games anything you do social media you guys gonna expect to use the phone for 22 hours which is impressive in my opinion for a budget phone like this now with this TCL you guys are not gonna expect to have 5G as I said before you guys are not gonna expect to have NFC you can do Android Pay and Android Beam all these good stuff and there is no FM radio now let's move to the unboxing take the box very normal uh, box right there show the name of the phone and picture for the phone and we have a sim card and now we have the phone itself wrapped in this plastic let's go ahead and remove that plastic
My first impression of the phone, the phone is a bit bulky and that's normal because the phone has a big battery but it feels nice in the hands. The phone has a plastic back with the matte finish, fingerprint right there and we have the three camera setup right there. Looks something similar to the Samsung Galaxy S21 and we have the phone from the front, we have a speaker, we should have only one speaker, one microphone, C type right there, volume down up keys and the power key right there and let me set the phone in the side and look to the other accessory we'll have some manual instruction books right there terms and condition and we will have the power brick just kind of big a little bit and this is 18 watt from TCL and finally we have the 3.5 foot USB-C cable included in this box which is a nice addition as I said because even uh, the iPhone Pro with thousand dollar or more price tag doesn't come with the charger now we're gonna play with the phone a little bit and give you more information and more impression and let's find out now after spending quite some time with this phone, the truth is this phone is way much better than what I thought. For so many reasons, first of all, the design of the phone uh, looks so good, even that the phone is ripped off from Sony phones and Samsung Galaxy S21, especially from the back, and the back of the phone, it doesn't magnet all these fingerprints, and overall the phone looks so nice. Now you guys need to know this is a budget friendly phone, the phone is made out of plastic but overall speaking about the language of the design of the phone, the phone is looking nice and has very nice grip and also this phone has a fingerprint which is work stunning it's very fast and it's very response in addition to this you have the option to set up face unlock for easier way to unlock the device and both works great now despite the fact that I'm not big fan for any operating system, not a stock, but here few things worth to mention for this phone and in my opinion very useful feature added to this device. Unfortunately I can't explain everything for you, this need dedicated video if you guys are interested we can make uh, tips and tricks for this specific phone, leave this in a comment if you are interested I will make a separate video but I'm gonna show you one of these uh, nice features first of all for the screen it's the next vision so it's a pre-installed app on the phone or you can go to the settings and get the same thing but the nice thing about this one this will enhance the image by adding more color make it more vivid even that we have a screen which is only LCD but the way I look to this screen this screen is nice despite the low specification for this screen but with this with some enhancement the screen looks so good also you can change the color temperature to it uh, whatever you feel comfortable look into the display itself you can just play with the temperature you can make also the screen uh, more vivid colors and you can use natural colors in my opinion I like to be uh, vivid colors which is more rich colors and make me more comfortable looking to the display itself also we have the optimize and with this key all you have to do press the key and you will see some electric shocks right there and that means the phone is going to kill all the cache, all the junk files and clean up your storage for anything unnecessary to be in your phone. In my opinion, it's a great addition to the phone and I like also the, the graphic they make on the icon. It looks so nice actually. Now also let's go ahead and look to the uh, main menu on the phone. As you guys can see, the phone has the custom look. That reminds me with Xiaomi Huawei phones. If you go here to the settings, you're going to see everything is organized and categorized with different looking icons than the stock. We have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, display, next vision, and uh, button and gestures. You can technically swap the back key from the right to the left and the left to the right, which is a great addition for this very budget phone, smart manager etc so overall speaking about the custom UI it's nice it has a lot of good additions 
more features than just a regular phone with only stock Android and this is a good thing in my opinion and adds more value to the phone like this now for the hardware I have mentioned the phone use entry level uh, chipset from uh, MediaTek it's not the most powerful device but I believe comparing the phone with the price you're gonna get very decent uh, performance and you're not gonna have a problem especially if you're playing uh, video games that doesn't require a lot of graphics so I believe you should be fine your social media with 32 gigabyte storage is not quite a lot in my opinion but people buy this phone they're not willing to have very expensive phone high-tech phone I believe they should be okay and I haven't noticed any problems using this custom UI from playing video games or browsing the internet or the application or anything else I want to do in the phone so overall my experience using the phone is very good now for the battery performance I don't have anything to add for you much as a promise the phone should last you up to three days of usage 5000 milliamp power battery is a huge battery for low-end phone that doesn't use a lot of power the phone will last you for quite some time to use the phone without the need to recharge your device now moving on the camera now if you're wanting to buy a phone that takes decent pictures crisp nice clear pictures don't buy this phone this phone doesn't offer you the best quality images it's gonna be just about okay I'm gonna show you picture samples and you guys are gonna notice how much noise in these pictures and the quality is not the best even that this phone has some good features added to the camera application like it has a macro mode or even super macro mode right there and it has stop motion light trash and some good features but with this sensor it seems to me useless you can use it and get the best performance out of it same thing also we want to speak about the front facing camera the quality is absolutely terrible even that we have option to add portrait but the portrait it doesn't look good I'll leave you with some pictures and samples so you guys can see the quality by yourself Surprisingly, this phone has exceeded my expectation and I feel the phone has a great design, customizable operating system with a lot of features, great battery performance and a good display. And that was very much it for that video. I wish you guys enjoy and find this video helpful for you to purchase this phone. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you in the next video.